Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Community Works. I'm Bernadette Welsh, your host. Each one of our shows highlights a local nonprofit agency in our community. Our goal is to educate you, our viewers, about the great work that's going on all around us every day by local agencies and their supporters. When people help their neighbors, everybody benefits. The focus of today's show is it's just so, so touching. It's called Operation Christmas Child. So even though it's not yet Christmas, we could still start thinking about it, can't we? So let's learn about Operation Christmas Child through the wonderful guests that I have with us today. I'd like to welcome Jody Festa. Hello. who is the area coordinator for a, a group called Samaritan's Purse. That's right. Mm -hmm. And Richard Pendred, who is our wonderful chairman coordinator person <laughs> for Operation Christmas Child in our county. So welcome to you both. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so glad that you're here. Okay, Jody, I'm going to start with you because a lot of people might not know about Samaritan's Purse. Yes. What is it? So Samaritan's Purse is a um, non-denominational um, organization that helps people that are suffering in other countries due to war, famine, disease, um, any type of disaster. They've been around since 1970 and they are led by Franklin Graham. And Operation Christmas Child is actually one of their projects. And um, the Operation Christmas Child is an organization that fills shoebox gifts full of toys for children around the world. Okay, thank you very much. And now, Rich, you're <laughs> going to tell us all about a little bit more detail about Operation Christmas Child. Take it away. Yeah, well, Operation Christmas Child has been around for over 30 years, started out in 1993. Uh, <laughs> and uh, since 1993, we have collected, as an organization, over 209 million shoeboxes. And shoe boxes are going to kids all over the world this Christmas. So it's just an exciting thing. And being the Christmas person that I am, yes, this is a lot of fun Santa to Claus. do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. And I think we can see here, folks can see what some of the shoe boxes are like. Yeah. So, um, Rich, um, what goes in a what goes in a shoe box? What how does it all happen? Tell us more. Give well, us more information. The thing is, is that uh, this is a, a box is packed by individuals. It's packed by mm -hmm. churches. It's packed by businesses. So what it is, it's it's packed with love. It's oh, packed wow. with God's love inside the box. So what we do is, you you pack a shoe box filled with basic commodities, you know, toiletries. Um, small toys and they are shipped to children all over the world at Christmas time and they go to kids that this may be their first Christmas present they've ever received. You were telling me that, Riz. Yeah, and it just it's just so touching because you're impacting children's lives that you'll never ever meet. Your their smiles that they get as you're, from these shoe boxes is absolutely tremendous. And it's a great way to just share God's love and and actually be an impact player. So that that's what it's all about. So there's there's things that you can put in the box. You can see here on the table. Yeah, yeah, we recommend you put a, a wow gift in it, something like a, a Barbie doll or a stuffed animal, yeah, right. maybe a small soccer ball, and and they will go into these areas and bring them to kids that, like I said, who have never received a Christmas gift or a box. And what, what are them. some of the countries that it goes to, Rich? Uh, could you give us an idea? Is there certain areas that get these regularly every there's year? There's over 170 countries. 170 countries. Mm -hmm. Wow. And some, just to name a few, and you can jump in yep. here, Mongolia, um, Romania, there's some um, South Africa. Oh, Rich, help me yeah. out here. <laughs> <laughs> South Asia, Africa, right. um, all over, all South over the world. South America. South America, mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. And then you were telling me too, some Indian reservations here in the United States also can receive shoebox That's gifts. That's correct, yes. Because there are people, it's so hard for people to understand that, that there are kids that don't get gifts. That's right. And this, this is all volunteers. Yes, This is I done by volunteers that. all over the world. So right. it's people that are committed to impacting these children. That's right. Wonderful. And does um, the Samaritan Purse give financial support to Operation Christmas Child or is it more logistical? Um, support that you give or is it just 
as you were telling me before, one of your many wonderful programs. <laughs> So Operation Christmas Child actually asks for a donation of $10 um, to help go towards all of the costs that it takes to ship the shoe boxes and also some of the um, discipleship programs that they do offer for children and training. So. Wonderful. <laughs> it's really all by donations. All so. by donations. Okay, mm -hmm. that's why we're doing the program, that's right? right? We're doing the program. <laughs> that is well, right. And, and so basically what happens is when you go to package a box, there's a little envelope you can fill out. You pick and choose the age bracket that you want for the children. Okay. So you can do anywhere from two-year-old all the way up to 15-year-old. And you Aww. pick the boy or girl, and that's how you build your box. Okay. And then there's a little envelope in there so you can make a donation to Operation Christmas Child. They recommend a, a $10 donation per box mm -hmm. because it helps with yes. the shipping costs and the handling costs of, right. of what they are so yeah and um, if you wanted to also give other ways um, and you don't have the opportunity to go out to shop for gifts you can build a shoebox online yep. and build you can yes, oh, you that's can. So cool yes and when you build a shoebox online you get to pick out the items that you would like in the shoebox and also personalize it with a personalized note and another way that you can um, uh, donate to is by going online to follow your shoebox. So you follow can, my shoebox. That's yeah. right. Follow your shoebox. <laughs> like Santa Claus's sled. That's yep. right. <laughs> <laughs> so you can, um, when you do your ten dollar donation and follow your shoebox, they'll send you an email and let you know which country your shoebox is going to. That's super terrific. Yeah. And I understand that you could put in a little note and that sometimes you get a thank you note yeah. back. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that precious? We have, we, we've, we've had several people in our personally in our church that have wrote letters and the children have wrote back and they usually will send a little picture about them and it's just That's it right. just touches your heart when you see that that gift that they have received. That's great. That's right. And then there was a question that I wanted to ask both of you. Does a child have to do anything or say anything or be anything special to receive a shoe? box? Absolutely not. This is a free gift. They do not need to do anything, just uh, receive the free gift. I love that. That's mm -hmm. so important. Um, it, 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 it just, it's just so very important. Um, okay, so now this does happen all over the United States, correct, yes. uh, Jody? Right. So Rich is in charge of, of our local group here. <laughs> yeah. He's our Santa Claus. Right. But, uh, Tell us, it does happen all over the United States, doesn't it? That's right. In all 50 states and Puerto Rico, um, people will be packing shoe boxes. Um, and during National Collection Week, which this year is November 13th through the 20th, um, you can f go online to find a place that will accept your shoe box. And that's where you would drop it off in, um, before it goes to the processing centers and from the processing centers then it will be shipped internationally so yes all over the united states there are many places that w that are going to be receiving your shoe box and they can when they go online they'll find the, this information yes. we'll talk more about yep. the sure. website but yes that's so that so people can um figure this out that's right because we all need help figuring things out don't we <laughs> yes that's we do right. i know i certainly do I, you too <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now my wonderful director is going to put up a little collage of okay. pictures, and Slide. here it is, and we're looking at it now. So, Rich, help us out here. What are we looking at? Well, I'm going to talk about up there in the top right, those two little people up there. I call them Mr. and Mrs. Shoebox. That was a special project that we did over at Cheshire Bible Chapel where our collection site is. We, we, uh, we built these uh, mascots, if you will, and we last year we asked our guests that were coming in and bringing shoeboxes to help us name them. And our church got involved, and we came up with the name of Leon and Noel. Oh, of course, Noel. We have to have a Noel. That's right. Noel backwards is Leon. So oh, no <laughs> joke. Oh, I love it. Oh, so that's Mr. It. and Mrs. Shoebox, and that's our Cheshire Bible Chapel mascot. And then at Cheshire Bible Chapel, not only do we collect shoeboxes from individuals, um, I organize a packing party. Mm -hmm. And what I do is I go out in um, the months before November, and I will go to business and put out little boxes and wrap them up in paper and they're like a you know they can take their employees or their staff and put things in there like you see here and then I'll go back and pick those boxes up and then I use that stuff for our packing party which you see right there you got about all that uh, Charlie Brown and Linus toys there that's yeah. from a, a packing party and then there's a picture up there in the center with some people 
at our packing party uh, filling some shoe boxes. And we we look for volunteers for that. So if people oh. would like to volunteer yeah. to be a part of that packing party, they're mm -hmm. welcome to contact us. And our contact information will be here in the end. As well as if you'd like to put a box in your office and we can come and do a, um, a drop-off box and we pick it up so you don't have to deliver it to us. Wow, that. that's very nice. And then, um, so that's just how we kind of build it. And then um, we have National Collection Week that comes along. So that is the week of the 13th through the, the 22nd. And what people will do is they they bring their boxes to Cheshire Bible Chapel, which is a drop-off center for us. For our local. For well, our yep, local. For local, our, our local right? People. And then there's several locations around the state, but the mm -hmm. local one here would be the Cheshire one, which, right, right. which I know you visit. I know, because I've done a shoe <laughs> box. I'm going to do another one. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So that's great. Yeah. And we saw a picture of the van, and we saw yep. all those great things. So yep. thank you for letting us no know. Problem. Because pictures tell so many, yep. so many things. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. And what I saw in those pictures was a whole lot of love. Yep. I happy did. People, uh, yeah. Although the happy face thing, yep. that kind of cracked me up. <laughs> <laughs> that is too, too yeah. cool. Okay, so we're, we've been talking around how people can get involved, but let's spell it out. So, sure. one, they can... Pack a shoebox. Two, they can volunteer. They can volunteer. They can volunteer um, during National Collection week, week, which is always the third week of November. Yep. Um, they can volunteer at a processing center. And what a processing center is, we did have a picture of a processing center, is where um, after all of the shoe boxes are collected, um, they go there and they get carefully inspected by volunteers to make sure that there, there aren't any items in the shoebox that shouldn't be in there, such as toothpaste. Yeah, we were talking mm -hmm. about toothpaste. Uh, right. Jody, explain why toothpaste is sure. a problem. So toothpaste is a problem because um, it has an expiration date on it. Yeah. And if the expiration date is 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 passed when the shoebox goes into customs at another country, then the people have to take the time to inspect every single shoebox in every single carton in that big giant shipping container. So it holds up um, children from receiving the shoeboxes. So we ask no toothpaste and, and uh, no liquids, no candy, no food related items, those sort of things. So we, we do need to make sure that those things aren't in the shoeboxes. So the inspectors will keep the integrity of a box by and just look for things that shouldn't be in there because sometimes people have good intentions and they want to make sure that the kids get what they need but um, sometimes things slip past for sure so, for sure. so that that's important yes, yes. it's very important to know so volunteers right. to do that volunteers to do that we also need volunteers year-round Oh, That's tell us right. about that. So as an area coordinator, I am always looking for volunteers to join our team. And um, part of that is to help promote Operation Christmas Child throughout the year. Mm -hmm. So I could, I am in need of prayer team warriors. I'm in need of logistics people. Anybody that is very organized, has a heart for children, and wants to um, be part of a service. I, I definitely would love to, for someone to join our area team. And, um, you can do that by going onto the website. Right, we're gonna talk about that. That's, That's right. true. Mm -hmm. That's true. And if somebody just says, you know, I, I guess I want to make a donation. They can make a donation, right? That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. On the, I'm sure on, on the, the web, website. On the yes. website. Yep. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So good. So you need volunteers and you need help and we need money and we need shoe boxes. <laughs> we need so many stuff, but it's all for little kids. That's I mean, right. How can we go wrong? We need, <laughs> we need some little kids. Okay. So. Rich, you were telling me that you do other kind of fundraising during the year. <laughs> yeah, the cat's out of the bag. Oh, well, <laughs> tell us what you do. Tell us why it's so important, and tell us what the money that you, goods you get go to go for. Tell yeah. us all about it. Well, yeah. you know, as you can tell, Bernadette, and, and you know, I absolutely love the Christmas season. So yes, you do. This shoebox project of Operation Christmas Child, it, it, it runs all the way up until just before Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. And when it ends... I start for next year, <laughs> usually the day after I'm thinking about next year. So what I do is during the Christmas season, I will dress up as Santa Claus and visit businesses, <laughs> homes, <laughs> Christmas parties. I love it. And awesome. I will go in and visit with them and they do not have to pay me. All I ask is they give me a donation so that I can use that to buy more stuff for our packing party next year. Nice. So they're not making a donation to Christmas Child, they're, they're making a donation to our area drop-off center here in Cheshire. That, 
And that's very yeah. important too, because yeah. you can't mm -hmm. you can't imagine to do all the great work that no. you do only in a couple of weeks. That's right. right. And it, it takes a whole lot more than a couple of weeks right. to and it, pull this off. And it just off. gives me the opportunity mm -hmm. to bring joy to kids at yes. Christmas, see those faces, and help other kids at the same time. For sure. Right. So it's it's I'm double dipping this. Yes, part. you are. You are double dipping. <laughs> it's great. And, and Rich, I know this is kind of. Tell us, please, the story that you told me before the show about the oldest kid with the pencil. Oh, but tell I me, the, tell that. everybody the pencil story, please. I love well, it. we have speakers that will come and visit our church through, you know, mm -hmm. usually once a year, and you can get them at, at different locations. But we get one at Cheshire every year, and it's somebody that received the shoebox. And last year we had a young man; he was from South Asia, and he received in his shoebox a package of pencils. And, you know, there's 10, 15 pencils in a box. He was so ecstatic that he received those pencils because in their family, they had one pencil. <laughs> and they had to share it between three. And he was the youngest. So the older brother, he got the full pencil. Uh, the sister got the half pencil. <laughs> and he got the stub. Uh, he got the stub. Oh, good. So wow. when he received Thanks. that box, that was what was the most exciting thing to him, that right. somebody loved him enough Aww. to give him a, a, a package a of pencils. And it had the That's pencils right. in it. And See, the, we forget in mm -hmm. our privileged country, mm -hmm. how pe children in other countries do not have things that we take for granted That's right. yep. every day. A pencil? Right. You know, you go and look in the junk drawer and you've got a million of them, right? right? And That's we right. just don't think about that. Right. So I'm so glad I got you to tell that story because I <laughs> love that story. Um, that's so great. Okay, so now let's take a look at that website. My wonderful director is going to put up a screen. There it is. I love all the information on there. Folks, take turns. Tell us what we're looking sure. at. Absolutely. So on the screen, you can see that it has the website, operationchristmaschild.org. And the National Collection Week is November 13th to the 20th. And um, I'll let you do the rest. <laughs> yeah. And, and Cheshire Bible Chapel is, is, is the drop-off center that my wife and I run here mm -hmm. in Cheshire, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. It's at 1103 Waterbury Road, Cheshire, Connecticut. If you want to find out more details on our hours, you can find that on the Operation Christmas Child website. Or you can call us at 203 271 0183. And you might answer the phone or it might go to a voicemail. It might go to a voicemail and then I'll call you back. Call you back. <laughs> okay, it's great. And again, tell us what is on the website. Sure. Uh, what exactly will folks see? I mean, we looked at it earlier, mm -hmm. but could you reiterate what sure. people will see? Absolutely. So when you go onto the website, you will find on there right now the dates for National Collection Week. Mm -hmm. You will find ways to donate. There are links to go to on how to pack a shoebox, um, to build a shoebox online, how to get involved, and really just more information about Operation Christmas Child. For sure. <laughs> That's super. That's right. Well, it also on there, it, it will give you a list of, of items that you would that are great to pack in your shoebox. It'll give you a list of items that you should not pack in your shoebox. But um, definitely there on, on the website has a lot of inf good information on how to bless children. Oh, how to bless children. <laughs> I love it. And there's also, I should mention, there's an event page. So that yes. if they want to go and look and see where a child is going to be that received one of these boxes is going to come and talk about the impact that that That's box right. made on him. Him, and they it's can called find an, that. And the event page? The event page. The event page. Yep. That's right. Cool. <laughs> so if Thanks that's, for saying that, no Rich, problem. because <laughs> there are quite a few events that are coming up, so definitely take a look at that. And so, some of the events are a speaker tour, and a speaker tour is actually somebody that received a shoebox as a child, and they come to, to your church or your community and talk about how that changed their life. It's a very, very good impact of a story to listen to. Um, and then the other things on there are project leader workshops, yes. where if you want, would like to um, have a packing party like Rich was talking about earlier, you can go on there and learn how to be a packing party for either your church organization or your community organization because we have a, a lot of different um, community groups that participate, such as Boy Scouts, Girl Scouts, um, Oh goodness! Some of the, the, the other clubs. Yeah, uh, the Kiwanis, the 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 Elks Club. That's right. Yeah. Yes, and even um, school school groups will participate in mm -hmm. packing shoe boxes. 
I think that's great. Because mm -hmm. you know, people, we, we, we have this wonderful tool called a website. That's right. This electronic thing. Mm -hmm. and, and if people take advantage of that, they're yeah. going to learn everything they need to know. Yeah. Plus, of course, they're listening to us, and so they're learning yeah. all the wonderful <laughs> things right now. But they right. might forget, so right. they have to go to the website and then pick it all right. up again. That's so that's right. just super great. <laughs> that's super great. Oh, my goodness. I love this stuff. Okay. <laughs> so... Um, we were talking before the show that a child might have a difficult time learning when they don't feel loved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. How does Operation Christmas Child address that? Mm -hmm. Well, <sighs> I, I think that yeah. Operation Christmas Child addresses it by yeah. using these um, yeah. the shoeboxes as a tool to just show them that God loves them and has not forgotten about them. And, and when you receive that free gift, you feel special, you feel loved, mm -hmm. and it's really important that children feel loved. I can remember hearing a story from somebody that did receive a shoebox, and the most important piece of that shoebox was actually a little piece of paper that said, God loves you and so do I. So that child felt like somebody around the world took time out mm -hmm. to shop for items specifically for that child and loved him so much to give it to him. For sure. Mm -hmm. And what about that red ribbon story? There, Rich? <laughs> well, that, 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 was a, that was quite impressive because when I started out doing this uh, 10, 12 years ago, I was at a, an event where they had a speaker and the girl was from Romania. And mm -hmm. she said that what she was looking for in her box yeah. was she said, if I could just get hair ribbons so I could feel pretty. And if that don't pull on your yeah, heart. Yeah, then you're not alive. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and what did she get in her box? Red hair ribbons. I just, isn't that incredible? <laughs> yeah. That's right. just incredible. Because yeah. it goes back to, yes, we need food, we need shelter, yes. we need clothes. Of course, we yeah. do. But that psychological piece, that yeah. spiritual piece mm -hmm. of love and acceptance right. to allow a child to grow to be a, a, just a good person. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. how can you love somebody else if you don't love yourself? Mm -hmm. exactly. Right? Exactly. And if we don't start exactly. with our children showing them love, how can they, how right. can they learn right. it? That's right. It's something that needs to be learned. That's right. Wow, I'm just having a great time with this. <laughs> it's, just, it's just amazing. <laughs> so we want to remind people that National Collection Week is November 13th to the 20th. 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 Yep. We mm -hmm. want to remind them that there, oh, here it is again. That's right. That Cheshire Bible Chapel is right here in Cheshire, local to um, the um, New Haven County. That's right. You can call that number and ask your questions. You can go on the website and get answers to your questions. We're just so very excited. I'm so excited. I've got my shoebox already. <laughs> and I, it's not as pretty as this, but I think, Rich, I think you you'll take it. <laughs> you'll take it. I might, I might have to get some Chris. I'll get, I'll get wrapping for it. I'll make it more pretty yep. this year. <laughs> and, and put things in and remember what to put in and what not to put in. If you wrap it, make sure that you wrap the top separately from the bottom. Okay, okay, <laughs> so that's you can get right. In there and yeah. it, yeah. So yes. that's right, because the top has to be. Um, mm -hmm able to be opened. opened that's right so you can't completely enclose it like you would for a package correct um with with a ribbon and a bow and yes. if they want to get these boxes they can get these on the website there's the cardboard and then there's the plastic, plastic. and okay. the plastic is good because in some locations the children can use that to carry water in and other things oh it's reusable yes. Yes. it's yes. reusable i like the mm -hmm. idea of the plastic one and i didn't even think of that that's right yeah and yeah, on the website sure. there's a place that you can buy, purchase those things yep. too. Okay, that mm -hmm. is really super terrific. Right. Um, is there anything else we want to talk about for Operation Christmas Child? Um, I mean, Rich, why did you get involved? <sighs> well, you know, once you look into this ministry and this project and you see what it's all about, you will be touched and you will be moved. Okay. It's an amazing ministry, it's an amazing right. project. You can impact a child <laughs> in the world that you'll never meet. That our eyes light up, they're excited, this is their first mm -hmm. Christmas gift, this is a chance for somebody to say, I love you with a shoebox. Right. Yeah. I can't do that sitting here in Cheshire, <laughs> but I can do that through the world by that little shoebox. And that's why it right. meant something to you and your wife to get involved in And the then ministry. when we collect, we go out and collect as many shoeboxes as we can, right? 
it only takes one shoebox to impact the child. Mm -hmm. But when we send out 209 million since 1993, that's a wow. lot of children that's right. that are impacted. And that's, that's right. what it's about, impacting children, showing God's love. Right. For sure. And it creates a ripple effect because mm -hmm. you're not just impacting the child, but you're impacting the child's family. Yeah. And it goes out into the community and then even greater than that. And I, I love Operation Christmas Child because just seeing the joy on their on the children's faces when you watch those videos of them receiving a shoebox it brings tears to your eyes because you can see how it's physically touching them and how much they just light up and get excited about the about receiving a gift and is that so. why you got involved is it, it is. is this part of what your maybe your career path that you wanted to <laughs> be in an organization that impacted children? Absolutely. I definitely wanted to volunteer and serve in a way that I could um, help children out. Mm -hmm. sure. yeah. that, is, that is wonderful. Yeah. Well, I think we've just about covered everything that we wanted to cover. Yeah. And um, I'm so glad that you folks were able <laughs> to be with me today. Thanks for having us. Thank you, yes. We are going to... Um, we're going to close with one of those videos that we've been chitter-chattering about for the past half hour. <laughs> and I think you're going to love it. Um, it will follow my saying goodbye to Jody and Rich and thanking you so much for your time. And, um, and I'm going to ask everybody to think about getting involved in a project that impacts children. If this doesn't touch your heart, which I can't imagine that it wouldn't, but if it doesn't, find a way to impact a child's life with a, a loving, consistent gift. It's just, just the best thing you'll ever do. You'll be, you'll be improved more than you think you will. Mm -hmm. So I'm Bernadette Welsh for Community Works, for Rich and Jody with Operation Christmas Child. Thank you. And don't go away. We're going to show you that video, but we'll see you again real soon. And remember, when people help their neighbors, everybody benefits. an explosion of happiness. These kids are so excited because they are receiving toys for the very first time. Who doesn't want a gift? Who doesn't want a present? It shows them that out there, there are people who really care about you. You've got an army of volunteers that pack the boxes. Our volunteers for Operation Christmas Child, I believe, are the lifeline of this project. To think that we can be part of something that's going to reach over 10 million kids this year, that's exciting. When the box ends into the hands of a child, that is not the end. The big impact at the end of the day is lives that are changed. It's my prayer that God will use you to tell others about His Son, Jesus Christ. Operation Christmas Child is creating a ripple that's going around the globe. So it started with a box, and it's ending with communities and countries being changed. You know, these boxes are like a candle. It's a little bit of light that you take into a dark part of the world, and it makes a difference. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Very good. We want the children of the world to know that there is a God. He loves them.